Well, Thank by you now, much. you know that the murderer of these officers telegraphed his attack on the popular social media site Instagram. He wrote, and I'm quoting now, I'm putting wings on pigs tonight. Now, what you may not know is over 100 people actually liked his comment. Risk Control Strategies CEO Paul Viola says authorities should be looking into anyone who supported these killings. And Paul, of course, the question is, where do you draw the line between the real threats and the First Amendment? How do you answer? Right. Right. Great question, David. See, the bottom line here is that this is the quintessential example of premeditated murder. He broadcasted it. Any person that liked it, as far as I'm concerned, was part of the planning of it, and their lack of disclosure of it makes them party to it. Clearly, they should get a knock on the door from a nice, uh, courteous New York City police detective and get some questions taken. All right. Now, you already have a couple of arrests, or if, if not arrests, at least uh, people under suspicion. There's one guy in Chicopee, Massachusetts, who wrote on Facebook uh, that he was for putting wings on pigs. This guy, he hasn't been arrested yet, but he's going to be called in to, to uh, you know, atone for what he said and try to explain right. it to police officers. What could happen to him? Right. Well, look at it this way. Just because it's social media doesn't give you a pass. And when you understand, we have to look at from the legal side of this and from the prosecutorial side of this. If anyone participated in this and they're party to it, then clearly they're going to go down the road of prosecution. There's no question about it. But the thing to remember here is that two cops were assassinated. Anybody that participated in the communication of that should be investigated. No question about it. Well, it's said that this guy is going to be summoned to court for threat to commit a crime. Uh, frankly, that's mm -hmm. something I hadn't heard of. I don't know if that's a state law or federal law. Do you? That's, a pen that's New York State Penal Code. Okay. Well, this guy's in Massachusetts, so I imagine it's Massachusetts Penal Code, right? It could, it could very well be, but I know that that's on the books in New York as well. All right. Finally, it's very common from state to state. Finally, there is this uh, junior at Brandeis University, this woman who mm -hmm. wrote that she has no sympathy for dead cops. She says, I just really don't have sympathy for the cops that were shot. I hate this right. racist effing country. Uh, she's now complaining <laughs> because after her remarks were put on tweet and then she took them down, another person put them back right. up again. I'm just wondering, as, as awful as her comments are, does she have any case? She says she's threatening to sue people for putting her remarks back up on a social media site. You know what, David? This is not a First Amendment issue. If she doesn't like this country, there are flights leaving every hour on the hour. Get on it and go and leave. I agree. That's, that's, that's my message to her. She doesn't like it. She needs to leave the country. She doesn't have any right to sue anybody. For what? There's no right to that with social media. You put it on there, it's posted, it's public knowledge. Get off it if you don't want to, if you don't want to be exposed to it. Paul Violas. And, you know, for, for the record, David, yeah, this ahead. is the same kind of person. For the record, this is the kind of person that at 2 o'clock in the morning, when someone's breaking into her house, she's dialing 911. Right. Right, That's exactly, right. exactly. By the way, she's paying. Exactly. I don't know who's paying for that sixty thousand dollar year you, education. But you I, can bet I don't it's think not whoever her, it is, they're not getting their money's worth. Paul Violas, thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Good to see you. Always well, a pleasure, David. Sure.